Mary, would you call the roll, please? Sure. Richard Martin? Here. Valerie Jorgensen? Here. Dane Clapham? Here. Chris Barrett is absent tonight. Sarah Rostegar? Here. And Brad Martin? I can see him, so I'll count him as here. Okay. <laughs> Okay, it's hard to believe that another year has jumped by and it's time to elect a new chair. Do we have any nominations? I'm, I I'm think, uh, go ahead, Val. I nominate Richard Martin as the chairman. I second that nomination. Anybody else? Okay. I've got a um, motion and a second uh, to nominate Richard Martin as the chairperson for the uh, Board of Zoning Appeals. Uh, all in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed? Oops, I guess I'm it, huh? <laughs> Congratulations. Oh, thank you. Okay, it's time to uh, elect a vice chair. Do I hear any nominations for vice chair? I will nominate uh, Valerie Jorgensen. And I'll second that. I thought you were going to leave there for a second, Val. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorting my papers here, trying to get everything in order. All in favor of uh, Val being our vice chair, say aye. 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 Opposed? Hey, okay, Val, you got her another year. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Any additions or corrections to the agenda? No. Okay, not hearing any. Um, <clears throat> has everybody had a chance to take a look at the minutes of December 8th? We have a uh, ask for a, uh, a motion to adopt the uh, minutes of December 8th as presented. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Okay, the minutes of December 8th are approved. Did we have a, a motion and a second on that? I didn't hear it, I'm sorry. I heard no, it. We did. I'll make the motion to uh, to adopt the minutes as written. Okay. Do I hear a second? A second then. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Do we need a vote again, Mary? No, no. Okay. I just couldn't remember who did what, so. Thank you. Whole new year. We're out of practice. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Recognition of visitors. Do we have any visitors or citizens? Greg Kovac is here. Hi, Jeremy. Jeremy. Welcome. We'll get to your um, variance application here pretty soon. Any comments yes, at this point? Okay. Ben, do you have an officer's report? Joint officer's report? 
Okay, thank you, Mr. Chair. Um, one item uh, of note from the holidays, along with the city of New Albany, we had a uh, mini Santa parade um, through some of the subdivisions and in and around town. And uh, that was uh, well received. Uh, retired Fire Chief John Hoover came back to assist with that. I won't reveal the nature of his participation, but um, he was happy to help out. Um, we got some good feedback from that, so we may make that uh, a recurring event. Um, you you might have heard that we did a, uh, a similar parade for the 4th of July out in the community, just trying to um, get out and say hi to residents here and there. We have um, a property in the township that's uh, undergoing potential development on Walnut Street, just east of 605, the Whittingham property. It's a 37 acre parcel next to Metro Parks. There's a um, hearing at Franklin County Planning Commission this week, uh, tomorrow afternoon actually, on a variance request for the length of the cul de sacs in this small little subdivision. There'll only be 12 lots. And so um, it's a pretty good use uh, of the property in the current rural zoning district. Lots will be a minimum of two and a half acres, uh, 200 feet of road frontage. It'll be on individual well and septic. And, um, you know, it, it's kind of a, an ideal location for those houses. They'll be right next to Metro Park and potentially have trail access right into the park. And uh, that's a pretty low density, you know, 12 units on 37 acres. Um, so I think you know that's um, good for the environment, good for the community. Uh, they will have some more work to do as far as the soil science exploration, um, updating some of the engineering for the drainage. Uh, so it'll be a while before there will be a final vote on that. But I just wanted to point that out because it will not come back to Plain Township uh, because there is no rezoning. We don't have any oversight of that subdivision. It'll all go through the county. But if you hear any uh, concerns from your neighbors or uh, residents, I wanted you to know where we're at with that. Uh, the township does not oppose the subdivision. You know, it's going to meet our zoning requirements uh, and be very low density. Other than that, it's been pretty quiet uh, in the township. Um, no business for the zoning commission all of 2020. And... Um, mostly just uh, variance requests here and there. So that's all I have for you tonight. Okay. Well, can I, can I ask a question? Did you say the northwest corner of Harlem and, what, I'm sorry, the location of the subdivision. Walnut Street. Did you say 605 Walnut or? Walnut Street, east of 605. It's actually next to Rocky Fork Park. It's on the north side of Walnut Street. Hmm east of 605 there's also some construction on just west of 605 on the southwest corner there's a lot of hat is that in there's, plain township or albany nottingham trace uh that's within the city limits uh schleppy road area and they're entering yes. phase two of that development that subdivision okay. will have around 220 units <clears throat> 80 percent age restricted are they Thank just you. removing all those boulders out there still? Is that what they're doing? Well, they kind of used um, one area for their spoils piles, and now they're moving on to developing the phase two. And so I think they're moving some of that stockpiled material. I saw some trees that they were, you know, removing as well. Uh, that's been a kind of a slow project. I think slower than the city or the developer expected, and they're three years later just getting around to phase two mm -hmm. okay thank you okay any other comments or questions for ben <clears throat> okay let's move on to new business um we've got some things that need to be approved <clears throat> um so we'll take them one at a time here the uh, filing deadlines and meeting schedules presented for approval. Um, Mary, has has there been any 
big changes to those deadlines and uh, meeting schedules? No, should, there are, there are typical, um, our typical spread between days, you know, we have the accept the application on or before the Wednesday before our next meeting. And then, you know, at the meet, the one meeting, like this meeting, we accept or reject the applications. If um, we accept the application in two weeks, you know, we publish it in the newspaper so that, that it's at least two weeks before the hearing. And that pretty much, that formula goes throughout all of them. Okay. Sounds good. Any, any other comments or questions? Do we need to make motions to approve these? We do. Okay, I'll make a motion to approve the calendar as written. Okay, thank you. Do I hear a second? I second the motion to approve the calendar as written. Okay, thank you, Val. Um, all in favor of approving the schedule, say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. The next one is the rules of procedures presented for approval. Um, again, Mary, um, any big changes in those procedures? I changed the date to 2021 at the top of the page. Okay. <laughs> <And that's it. laughs> Our standard rules. That pretty much says it all. Yep. Any comments uh, from anybody else? I move to approve the uh, articles. Okay, thank you. Do I hear a second? I'll second. Thank you. All in favor of approving the rules of procedures, say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Um, designate the zoning officer as secretary of the Board of Appeals. This is ben, awesome. make a motion for that. Ben, ben, you still up for that? <laughs> yeah, for now. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Do I hear a second? I'll second. All right, thank you. All in favor of uh, designating the zoning officer as secretary of the Board of Appeals, say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Um, <clears throat> the next one is the Board of Zoning Appeals fees approved by the Board of Trustees. Um, any questions on the fees? Then these, all these fees have already been approved by the trustees? These are the same ones we had last year. We haven't raised fees yet. Okay. okay. The Board of Zoning Appeals and the Zoning Commission have an opportunity to uh, amend these annually. Um, you know, we, we've kept these the same for the past decade, uh, mostly because we just haven't had a whole lot of activity. Mm -hmm. uh, but now would be the, the opportunity or this is the way that we would amend those. Okay. Um, well, I'll make a motion to approve the uh, fees for 2021. I'll second that. Thank you. Stop Paul. my streak there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I cut in on you, didn't I? Man, you sure did. Um, all in favor of uh, approving the fees for 2021, say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. On this next item, Mr. Chair, no actions required. It's just provided one that you have uh, access to each other's info if you needed to contact one another. 
uh, to okay. review and let staff know if there's any changes or updates to be made. Gotcha, thank you. Um, I didn't see any changes for me, so anybody else, if you have any changes, please let Mary know. Um, ben, you want to take the next one? Uh, discuss the availability of the zoning training. Yeah, so the last time we conducted this training was 2013, and most of our current BZA and Zoning Commission members are new since then. And uh, usually what we do is have um, one or two attorneys work through uh, an outline and overview of the process, you know, the laws that apply and the different procedures for the BZA and the Zoning Commission. We would do these independently. So what we wanted to do um, was to get some potential dates and we could plan to do this on a regular meeting night, one of our Tuesday evening meetings. And so if we can just verify that everyone is available for one of those, uh, you know, in the spring. In the past, we've done this in person. Um, currently, uh, we would probably plan to do this virtually for now until we get into the second half of the year. And so um, we just wanna make sure everyone has access to uh, interact and, and view the presentation and make sure we don't have any technology limits. Uh, but we think this is really valuable. It's a great opportunity to review uh, all the different laws that apply, to ask questions, um, anything that's come up in the past or anything that you've been curious about. And um, so that's kind of a brief review. Okay. If any dates come to mind, Ben? Well, I think we will have a hearing um, next month, so maybe skip a month and look at, at March, potentially March 9th. Okay. Wouldn't that be April? We have a meeting next month, February, skip March through April. We, we have a, we will have a hearing, a public hearing in February. Okay. Uh, so I didn't want to do it on the night we have a public hearing, uh, just for the length of the time it would take. Um, so, you know, March or, or April would be fine. How long do you think that would take, man? I would allow at least uh, 90 minutes. Okay. But I would say, you know, it's going to take at least an hour probably to get through everything and allow some time for questions. Okay. How, what do we need to do from, from, are you gonna contact them and set that up then or are we gonna wait? Well, I wanted to get a, a few dates. So, you know, if doing it on our regular Tuesday evening is good, we could look at March 9th and April uh, 13th as possible dates. And then staff will reach out and see if that works for the presenters. And then we'll get back to the BZA and let you know. Does that sound okay? That sounds great. Okay. Yep. Sounds good. Sounds good. Okay. Well, let us know, Ben. Um, the next one is a um, a variance application. 1-7-2021-01 at 64.35 Harlem Road, requesting a variance to increase the size of an accessory structure and access of the permitted square footage. Uh, Jeremy, you still there? I am here. All right. We got to you. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> This is to build a, uh, a structure, not much over the limit. Um, I guess with your acreage, you're allowed to build a 720 square foot building and you're asking for a 1,040 square foot. Yes, sir. Over, over by about 320 square feet. Um, 
Want to tell us a little bit about your structure? Well, just be a it's post frame construction. Um, it's going to propose would be 26 by 40. Um, it's going to be in place of the current as you like on the plot plan where you can see where the accessory building the shed is now go in that same spot. So the shed would go away. Okay. Um, we have a six foot privacy fence that surrounds the entire backyard. We have trees that are 20, 30 feet tall, some of them even higher than that. Uh, that would block the accessory building from view from my neighbors. And yet I don't think you'd be able to see it from Harlem Road. So um, the size of the lot I feel is adequate for the, the proposed building size. Okay. It sounds good. Um, ben, is all the paperwork uh, up to date and ready to go? I'll defer to Mary. I think she's reviewed this. Okay. It is. Okay. Any questions from the group? Nope. The board? Nope. Okay. Everything looks in order. And um, I agree with you. I think that size of a building would uh, would fit on your on your lot on your lot um so if there's no other questions uh i'll entertain a motion to approve this for hearing um let me see february 9th at seven o'clock i'll make a motion to approve it for hearing okay i hear a second I second the motion. Okay. All in favor of approving this application for a hearing next month, say aye. 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 Opposed? Okay. Uh, Jeremy, we'll see you next month. All right. Thanks, guys. All right. Thank you. Bye. Um, old business. Is there any other old business? Uh, I know we have a hearing that's next. Uh, anything else we want to talk about before the hearing? Okay. Um, is anyone here to represent the applicant? at uh, 12862 Bevel Hunter Road. Hi, yeah, that's me, Greg Kovacs. Hi, Greg. Hey, hello again. Hello again. Um, well, the first things we need to do is we wouldn't need to swear you in, Greg. Yes, sir. Um, so with that in mind, do you solemnly swear that you will tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you God? I do. Thank you very much. Um, this hearing we talked about last month, um, and this is a variance application to requesting a variance to decrease the required side yard setback. Yes, sir. Any any questions from the board for Greg? Nope. Yeah, nope, not for me. Okay. Pretty straightforward. Yeah, it is pretty straightforward and <laughs> I don't I don't see any problems and we talked about it last month and uh, pretty much got everything answered that I think we needed to know. Um, so with all that in mind and no questions, uh, do I hear a motion to approve uh, the variance application 12-02-2020-01? Uh,
12862 Bevelheimer Road. I'll make a motion to approve. Go ahead. Tried to get the whole trifecta, but. <laughs> <laughs> Keep getting cut in on, don't you? <laughs> Do I hear a second? I second that motion. All right. All in favor of approving this application, I say aye. 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 Opposed? Okay. Greg, you've been approved. All right. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. And uh, and Mary, thank you for all the help along the way as well. You're very welcome. So when you get ready to build and you have it all, make sure you submit a permit. Um, and if you still need the permit for the building. Okay. Yeah, we'll wait. Uh, a month or two is for to warm up a little bit, but yep, we'll keep it in the process. Sounds good, and I'll see you Thursday. Yes, all right, I'll see you Ben. See you Ben Thursday as well. Thanks. Thanks everyone. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Okay. Now that we've got the business out of uh, out of the way, any. Any comments from the board members? I hope everyone's staying safe and not having any trouble till we all get vaccinated. Uh, Mr. Martin? Um, yes. I did have one thing. We will have a vacancy on the Rocky Fork Black Lick Accord. And uh, we currently have a full complement of our VZA plus one alternate in, in Ms. Rastigar. Uh, but I just want to throw that out there. If anyone might be interested in serving on the Rocky Fork Black Lick Accord, they have a, a separate meeting schedule the third Thursday of each month. Um, they meet fairly infrequently, but th they hear rezoning cases in the city of Columbus within the city of New Albany and portions of Plain Township. Um, or if you know anyone who might be interested, um, they, they need to live within Plain Township, but that can be the incorporated area as well. You know, our BZA members have to reside in the unincorporated area. But this can be either or. Okay. What then I would, I'm sorry, I would be interested to sit in that meeting. Okay, great. Well, um, I can get you some info on that. And uh, if anyone else is interested or knows someone who might be, uh, let me know and, and I'll get them some info as well. I would be okay. interested in getting more information sure. and learning more about it. We are on Rocky Fork Creek and I do have an interest in the, in the waterways. I just want to know more about the actual work of the committee. Yeah, currently, um, one of our members is or, or appointees, Chapelier, a lifetime resident of the township. Uh, another is Jay Herskowitz, who previously served on our uh, township zoning board. Uh, he is a civil um, engineer. And uh, the other representative is Ron Lachey, who's um, term limited. Uh, he's been on uh, since the inception. But I'll send wow. you both some info. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Ben, could you send that to me too, please? I'll send it to everybody. That way <laughs> you can all take a look. <laughs> and maybe if you want someone else. Uh, we'd love to have <laughs> a, a list of people um, because I, Mike Chapelier will be term limited in a couple of years. And so we'll need someone else. Okay. Appreciate it. Okay. Thank you, Ben. Well, with that in mind, uh, I make a motion that we adjourn. I second that. Second. All right. <laughs> See y'all. See y'all next month. You all take care. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Be safe. Thank you, everyone, for being Bye -bye. here. Bye. Bye. -bye.